Welcome to the Mortgage Rates Weekly Market Update for the week of January 15, 2018. Hello, I'm John Thomas with Primus Financial Mortgage. Let me give you an update. Well, last week, mortgage rates did move slightly higher. Take a look at the bond chart on the screen. You can see mortgage bonds have been trading in that sideways uh, pattern, but last week, unfortunately, it did break below a floor of support, as you can see um, there on Tuesday. Giant red candle down. Um, Fell, all, fell again on Wednesday, but were able to find a floor of support and rallied off of it. Followed through on Thursday, but then on Friday after um, inflation report, they sold off. They touched the floor of support again, but were able to rally back and ended the day almost where they ended on Thursday. So that was a good technical sim, um, signal on Friday. So with that in mind, Damage has already been done. We're gonna recommend floating your mortgage rate to see if mortgage bonds can rally off this floor of support, move higher, and hopefully recover some of what we lost on that. So again, carefully float your mortgage rate to start the week. But if mortgage bonds break below that floor of support, that's gonna be very bad news. They got a long way to run down, which means interest rates are going to move up sharply in the short term. Long-term outlook for mortgage rates is they're going to move higher as we go into 2018 pending anything else because the Federal Reserve has begun reducing their balance sheet by not reinvesting the dividends on their payoffs of treasuries and mortgage bonds. Um, so they keep upping that, the amount that they're stop reinvesting to let what's called their balance sheet run off because they own a lot of money in treasuries, a lot of money in mortgage bonds. When those pay off or those interest dividends each month come in, they were reinvesting them, buying more bonds, more treasuries, helping keep rates low. Well, they're reducing the amount they're reinvesting, which is letting their balance sheet slowly run off. So that is tightening the mortgage bond market, forcing bond prices down and rates up. So as the feds keep tightening by reducing their balance sheet, that is gonna be bad news for mortgage bonds because there's less money into the market. So long-term rates are going to move up because of that pending any other economic event. So. The best news is to buy sooner, lock your rate, um, and buy your house if you're looking to buy. Now, if we dig into the economic news last week, big report, uh, retail sales for December 2017 were up 0.4%, and November's reading was revised higher at 0.9%. Retail sales year over year for 2017 were up 4.2%. That's better than 2016, which was 3.2%. So that's great news for the economy because two-thirds of the U.S. economy is consumer spending, um, and with retail sales coming in better, that means more consumer spending, better news for the economy. So we'll keep a look out, hopefully that continues. Then we saw two measures of inflation last week. We saw the Consumer Price Index, or CPI, for December 2017, which measures inflation on the consumer level. That's the one mortgage bonds favor. Um, the, the headline CPI actually dropped 2.2 to 2.1%. That was expected. What was unexpected is the core CPI um, actually went up 1.7 to 1.8 percent. That was unexpected. The core is when you strip out food and energy. So that was not good news that happened on Friday. That was one of the things that caused the bond to sell off. They were able to rally back to recover most of that, but that's still not great news. Now we saw the producer price index, which is the PPI, which is a measure of uh, wholesale inflation. Um, that dropped from 3.1 to 2.6 on the headline. Now the core PPI, which strips out food and energy as well, dropped from 2.4 to 2.3%. So the drop was unexpected, but it didn't have much effect on mortgage bonds because again, they rather look at the consumer, what's actually affecting consumers. Then we saw weak initial jobs claim on Thursday. Claims moved up 11,000 to 261,000 claims for the week. Weak initial jobless claims measures the number of people filing for first time unemployment benefits. Now the trend, this is the fourth consecutive week that jobless claims have moved higher and it's the, a three month high. So hopefully that's not a trend starting because that could signal a turn in the labor market, but right now the labor market's been good. 261 is still well below 300,000, so we're not alarmed at all, but hopefully that trend will not continue. Um, in the housing news locally, we've got the next first time homebuyer seminar which is this Saturday, January 20th from 10 a.m. to noon in Newark, Delaware at the Christiana Hilton Hotel. And then um, the one, there's one again next month, February, Saturday, February 10th from 10 a.m. to noon at the Newark Christiana Hilton. So if you can't make this Saturday, you can register for next month. If you'd like to register, give us a call in the office at 302-703-0727 or online, www.delawarehomebuyerseminar.com. 
Look forward to seeing you guys next week.